The Gospel of Mark Hard Hearts and Hard Thoughts Mark 3, 1-6 Introduction 1. We have seen the criticism that Jesus endured from religious leaders. A. When he claimed to forgive sins. Mark 2, 6-7 B. When he dined with sinners. Mark 2, 16 C. When his disciples plucked grain on the Sabbath. Mark 2, 23-24 2. Conflict between Jesus and the religious leaders escalated, from criticism to conniving. A. When the Pharisees sought opportunity to accuse him. Mark 3, 1-2 He entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there who had his hand withered. They watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. B. When Jesus healed a man with a withered hand on the Sabbath. Mark 3, 3-5 He said to the man who had his hand withered, Stand up. He said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath day to do good, or to do harm? To save a life, or to kill? But they were silent. When he had looked around at them with anger, being grieved at the hardening of their hearts, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored as healthy as the other. See? When the Pharisees began conspiring with the Herodians to destroy Jesus. Mark 3, 6 The Pharisees went out, and immediately conspired with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. 3 On this occasion, I am struck by hardness of the Pharisees' hearts. A which moved Jesus to grief and anger. Mark 3, 5 b. which indubitably led to their hardness of plotting to destroy Jesus. Mark 3, 6 1 Consider the problem. a. of hard hearts. 1. has been around for a long time can Pharaoh, Israel. 2. It leads to spiritual dullness, an inability to see truth. A. Which prompted Jesus to teach the public in parables. Matthew 23, 23-25. B. Which hindered his disciples from understanding the obvious. Mark 8, 13-21. 16, 14. 3. It leads to mental resistance. A refusal to consider what might be true. A. As seen in our text with the Pharisees. B. They were blinded to the good Jesus had done. 4. The end result is calamity. Proverbs 28, 14. Hardness of heart is a very serious problem. B. Of hard thoughts. 1. Hard hearts produce hard thoughts. The plot to destroy Jesus. A. The Pharisees and Herodians were unable to see the good that Jesus was doing. B. There became co belligerents, though normally opposed to one another. 2. Very similar to what we see in today's political environment. A. An inability to see any good in the opposition. B. A willingness to engage in the politics of personal destruction? C. Plotting to destroy by any means possible. 3. The same occurs often in the realm of religious differences. A. In our efforts to stand firm for the truth. B. We can easily begin to think ill of neighbors, co-workers, even brethren. C. It becomes evident in the way we treat others, ignore, malign, abuse. 4. Hard thoughts thus lead to verbal abuse and physical violence. Hard thoughts don't remain thoughts very long, they transform into deeds. 2. Consider the alternative. A. For hard hearts. 1. We can nurture a tender, compassionate heart. By remembering. A. Our own weaknesses and need for forgiveness. 
Ephesians 4.32 Colossians 3.12-13 b. The condemnation of those without compassion Matthew 18.33-35 James 2.13 2. This will help create good and noble hearts, with fair minds like a. The good soil in the parable of the sower Luke 8 15 b. The Berians willing to give Paul a fair hearing Acts 17 11 Tender hearts are created by remembering our own failings b. For hard thoughts 1. Tender hearts will address the problem of hard thoughts 2. But kind thoughts can be further nurtured by a. Dwelling on things that are noble and pure. Philippians 4, 8. B. Developing the mind of Christ. Philippians 2, 3-5. 3. Such tender minds will be characterized by. A. Lowliness of mind, esteeming others better than ourselves. B. Looking out for the interests of others. Tender minds are the result of growing in Christ. Conclusion 1. Consider the following contrast between a. The mindset of the Pharisees and the Rydians. Mark 3, 6. b. The mindset enjoined by the Apostle Peter. 1 Peter 3, 8-12. 2. What kind of mindset do we have? a. One filled with hard thoughts produced by hard hearts. B. One filled with kind thoughts produced by tender hearts. The goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering of God is designed to produce the latter. But if we remain hard-hearted against God and man, we will experience the wrath of God in the day of judgment. Or do you despise the riches of this goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering? not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance. But in accordance with your hardness and your impenitent heart you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Romans 2, 4-5 The End The Gospel of Mark Hard Hearts and Hard Thoughts Mark 3, 1-6